and dealing with a crisis is even much more magnified in terms of difficulty, not to mention the climate and what's happening. How do you give something to a caregiver in their home? How do you do it simple? How do you give something to the clinicians? How do you help people feel safe in their gear? You got no running water, you have no soap, you have no data comms in that country. The one team was working on the external gear, trying to solve the problem of how do people put on and take off the outer garments when they're doing Ebola treatments. Different ways of trying to get the garments off that would limit your physical contact or limit the, the, uh, the, the probability of contamination uh, getting from the outer garment to your inner garment. And then we pulled together a second team that looked at the inner garment. So this would be sort of the underclothes that they underclothes layers that people were wearing. Uh, how do we make the individuals that are doing this and are all suited up with this gear uh, more comfortable in a very high temperature, high humidity environment? So that was down to looking at uh, different fabrics and different means of providing cooling and then different means of, of sensing physical difficulties because of the perspiration and the heat. We thought that there was a way we could help. I mean, this is the kind of stuff we do all the time. Brainstorming, coming up with new product ideas, new solutions to new problems. <laughs>